In this video, I'll be showing you how to find the intersection of two lines without graphing. So in the first question, we have y equals 4x minus 1 and y equals minus x plus 19. Now what you want to do is put both of those equations into one single equation, which would be 4x minus 1 equals minus x plus 19. What you want to do is bring all the x values to one side so they're grouped by the um, by themselves. So what will happen is this will move there and this will move there. So that will make 4x plus x equals 1 plus 19. So you would get 5x equals to 20. Now to find x what you have to do is divide 20 by 5 and you get 4. Now once we found our x value, we can use that to find our y value by inserting it back into the equations. So what will happen is 4x, which is 16, minus 1 would give us 15. And we can check whether that's right by also inserting it into the second equation, which would be minus x plus 19, which would also give us 15. So now we know that the y value equals to 15. So we would write that as 4, 5. Now moving on to the second, second question, uh, which is similar to the first one, would be we have to multiply out this bracket. So it would be y equals to 3x minus 3 and y equals to minus x plus 5. So as we did in the first equation, we'll put both those equations into one single one. So you'd get 3x minus 3 equals to minus x plus 5. Now we're going to bring all the x values to one side so they can be grouped together. So this would go there and this would come here. So you'd get 3x plus x equals to 3 plus 5. So you would get 4x equals to 8. And now to find x, what you have to do is divide 8 by 4 which would equal to 2. So our x value, or x coordinate, for this question is 2. To find the y coordinate for this question, we have to insert that x value back into the equation. So you would get 3x minus 3, which would give you 3. So it would give us 3. And we want to check whether that's right or wrong by inserting it into the second equation as well. So you'd get minus x plus 5, which would also give us 3. So now we know that our y value or y coordinate is 3, and we'll write that as 2, comma 3. The questions I've shown previously were much simpler than the one I'm showing now, because um, this one uh, is quite different from the previous ones. Because for this one, we have to plot, we have to find the coordinates of x1 and y1 as well as x2 and y2. Now this may seem complicated at first but it's it's generally the, the same thing applied but in a much longer version. So what you want to do is put these two equations into one single one so you'd get x squared plus 2x plus 3 which equals to x plus 9. Now the trick is to completely remove the right hand side so that we're only left with the left hand side. And to do that we just minus x so we get x squared plus x plus 3 equals to 9. Now that we got rid of the x we want to also get rid of the 9. So you just minus 9 from both sides and you get x squared plus x minus 6 equals to 0. Now we want to factorize this, so we'll get x plus 3 and x minus 2, which will also equal to 0. Now, to find the x1 values and the x2 values, what you have to do is think what number would give us 0 in this um, single bracket and what would give us 0 in this single bracket. And those two values would be minus 3, so x1 would be minus 3, and x2 would be plus 2. Now now that we found our x1 and x2 values, what we have to do is insert 
the x values back into both both these equations to see if we get the same answer. So for y2, uh, sorry, for y1 value, you should get 6. And for the y2 value, you should get 11. So your x1 value is minus 3. And your y1 value is 6. Your x2 value is 2. And your x2 and your y2 value is 11. So you should get this coordinate.